All right. Coming back with Crash 3 for the first time in a long time. I've been I've been putting this off kind of because of my uh because of my wrist. But it's been feeling a bit better lately. So let's see if we can uh let's see if we can squeeze out these last few uh, relics. We're on the last batch. Analog? Hello. I I don't know if analog turned on. Oh, that's loud. I want to play Parappa the Rapper. Uh, I've never played Parappa the Rapper. It's supposed to be pretty good. So I've heard. Do, do, do. This game is, like, louder than Spyro, Spyro is. Just turn it on at the same volume and it's booming. All right. I'm on the last batch of relics, so let's see if I can finish it off today. Uh oh. The light went out. In the bathroom? Yeah. Have fun showering in the dark, I guess. <laughs> I'll change it. You can get your mood light. Yeah, I'll use that, sure. <laughs> what do we got? Got a relic there, a relic there. I think we came close to finishing it last time. Do we have all the relics? We need to get all the gems. I know that. Ninety-five percent. Wow, we were really close. So we got one or two more gems left. What do we got? Are these all unlocked? I hope they're all unlocked. He runs like he's on doinks. What? I hesitate to ask Sandy, what are doinks? Uh, oh, God damn it! Alright, here we go. Ski level. Okay, this isn't Hot Coco. Hot Coco's the one that's just free-roaming Spyro open-world shit, which was not fun. This one looks more linear. It's probably just gonna be hard. Let's go for the gem first. Let's get that out of the way. Actually, I don't technically need to do any more relics, I don't think. Since the point of the relics is to get the it un unlocks these bonus levels to get the last few gems. I really wish I could rotate the camera in this. That'd be great. Okay. So I guess I don't have to get these last couple levels of relics. Not that... Not that I'm going to be getting all platinum anyway, but... I don't think that count. I don't... Is that a percentage point? You get more percentage for having all platinum? So I'm on spring. I'm on spring break this week. I am not uh, not driving bus, which means a lot more streaming for the first time in a while. We haven't been doing that a whole lot lately, so I should be able to get back on top of it for uh, this week at least. Do some with Jack during the midday, assuming that he doesn't get called in more. I applied to be a bus driver in Vancouver. A uh, city bus or a uh, school bus, Sandy? I know there. I, the whole the whole country is looking for school bus drivers because it's a job that no one wants to do, honestly. Is becoming a bus driver hard? Uh, I mean not. It, it, 
it's just a matter of getting the training, which, depending on where you're going, so, I mean, my, my district is so bad for drivers that they're providing free training. I don't know how it is in Vancouver right now. I have no idea if any of my high schoolers know that I'm a streamer. I think one of them is a graduate, might. Since you're dealing with schools which are usually high standard getting hired. Oh no, they don't. There's no special, like, qualifications. You don't have to be, like, a. You don't have to have, a, like, a student, a child psychology diploma to be a bus driver. At least not right now, because, again, everywhere is so desperate for them. I guess that's the case with all commercial drivers right now. Even, like, uh, even long-haul, like, truck drivers are screaming for people. And I don't know why that would be the case, other than I guess there's just a lot of demand and not a lot of people who are doing it. Like, I know a lot of, uh, a lot of bus drivers who have, uh... A lot of older veteran bus drivers who have retired or quit or whatever just because of a lot of increasingly stingy, just like standards that are going on the books for, uh, for bus drivers and just educators in general. This is a very serious discussion to be having for a uh, happy Coco Bandicoot time. That's okay, though. There's not much else to talk about. Just get in boxes, in a jet ski, as a volcano fills the water with sulfuric acid and poisons it. I'm surprised there aren't dead fish rising to the surface, honestly. I guess that explains why there aren't any uh, shark enemies on this level. Scarce on... Uh, Scarce on masks, though. I think I started the level with this guy, and there haven't been any others. So you really have to not get hit in this one. Is that it? Is that all of them? It is. Sweet. Okay. Standards are actually very low for being a bus driver right now. I, I kind of shoot myself in the foot saying that, but they're very, they're very desperate. All right, hang them high. I got all that. Yeah. Why has it got to be more motorcycle levels? I hate the motorcycle levels. I hate them so much. And there's a second gem on this one. What's that? Oh, probably for winning. That's right, because we're out of crystals. You know what? I'm going to get all the boxes first. And of course, it's dark, so you can't see the boxes ahead. This seems like in another game, it would be it would be a convenient way for uh, for programmers to get away with not having the whole re level render at once, because you don't got to worry about draw distance if you can only see 10 feet ahead of you. <coughs> but I guess that would only come into play if they packed this level full of more stuff than the other motorcycle levels, which I don't think they did. Unless UFOs are more resource intensive than cars. I don't know. I'm not a UFO mechanic. Nice and easy.
It'd be a dick move if they hit some crates off the side of the of the road or something. It'd be a real dick move. I think I am planning to do Crash Team Racing after this. At some point after this. I don't know if it'll be immediately. I've kind of been, uh... I've kind of been veering away from solo streams because... I mean, this is me. I think that uh, me and Jack work better as a duo, but... I don't know. I'm usually not very motivated to do a solo stream. Oh, I missed the... I can't go back, can I? Nope. There is no reverse. And I can't even die. God damn it. So I'm gonna have to remember where that particular crate is, because I need to have be up to speed when getting it. Oh, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a pain of a gem. Like I can go slow for most of it, but not for that one at least. <coughs> but yeah, I still got the crash series to do solo, at the very least. And I do want to do... I'm looking forward to Crash Bash. Crash Bash is... I don't, that might be my favorite Crash game. It's just... It has so much replay value to me. I just... I've never... I've never 100%ed it, though. I've never gotten all the relics in that one. Actually, I don't think I've gotten all the... I don't know if I've ever gotten all the relics in this one before or not. I'm pretty sure I've 100%ed Crash 3 before. I have not. They're the first time for everything. Yeah, my two favorite Crash games are definitely Crash 2 and Crash Bash, though. Crash Bash is a very underrated, uh, underrated party game. <coughs> I enjoyed the campaign in Crash Bash a lot more than, say, any of the campaigns in Mario Party. Because you get a lot of unique challenges for each level. It's like... It's a game that's really more focused on the mini games than it is the uh, the playing boards like Mario Party is and Sonic Shuffle for that matter. Like especially Sonic Shuffle, the whole focus is on the game boards and mini games are really just a side thing that they have only because Mario Party has them. Almost missed that. Okay, enough speed. Yes. Now I go slow again and fuck myself by missing another box. Do you have Mario Party Top 100? I do not. Was that on, uh... Refresh my memory. Is that on 3DS or Wii U? The Top 100 collection. And for that matter, is it online compatible? 3DS, okay. No, I only... I have... I think I have Mario Party 1 on the actual N64. Obviously, we have any of the N64 ones we could emulate. And I have... Recently, I got one of the GameCube ones. I want to say seven, maybe. Maybe it was six. I'd have to check. But no, we've never actually streamed... We've, we've streamed Sonic Shuffle three times. Never streamed a Mario Party game. Good games? What are those? We've talked about uh, getting folks together for, like... Uh, like an emulated Mario Party session. Like, there's a way to do net play on Project 64, I think, or some N64 emulator. But it's just, it's it's daunting. It's a pain to do all that setup. So I just, we haven't gotten around to it yet. <laughs> but the idea has come up of doing that with Bacon Bomb and maybe some of the other guys. Yes, sir. Wild dude, Crash Bandicoot, cruising along at a crazy 10 miles an hour. Actually, Online 64 has been around for... Yeah, I know it has, for years. Again, I just haven't gotten around to setting it up, whatever setup entails. It has a horrible desyncing issue, yeah. I would imagine so. That's the case with a lot of, uh... A lot of unofficial online 
modifications. That was the problem with uh, Frost Lunky, the Spelunky co-op thing that I did all of one time, maybe two times with Morosaw. And I'm so disappointed that Spelunky did not have online. Spelunky 2 announced, still waiting for any details, really looking forward to Spelunky 2 and hoping DESPERATELY! God damn it. Shit. Okay, well, I guess I'm just scouting the rest of the way. Really hoping Spelunky 2 has online co-op, because that would be awesome. That was it. It was so close. One box. I'm just waiting for any details on Spelunky 2. So far, it hasn't come past just announcing. Same for Smash, obviously. So those are the big two new games that I'm looking forward to. Do not have a Switch yet. Need to get one. I'm hoping... I'm hoping they do a bundle with the Switch and Smash 5. But I don't know. I think they did eventually do a bundle with Wii U and Smash 4, but that was some time after Smash 4 was released. So I'm hoping it doesn't take that long after Smash 5 before they do it. Otherwise, if I have a few, an extra few hundred bucks, you know, I'll throw in for a Switch. There are other games that I wasn't able to afford on the Wii U that are getting ported to Switch that I'm interested in, so maybe... Did they announce a Hyrule Warriors port for Switch? I was interested in that. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Haven't played a Mario Kart in forever. The most recent Mario Kart game that I've played, to any significant degree, was a DS, so I'm, I'm a ways back. Double Dash and DS I have. And those are my two Mario Kart games. Me and my brother each have a Switch. Oh, Sandy, you're, now you're just rubbing it in. I'm surprised that... I'm really surprised they didn't announce a Mario Maker port for Switch. That would seem like a big seller. That was one of the... That was one of the games that was selling the Wii U. As far as I was aware, but... I guess the novelty's kind of passed for Mario Maker. I despise Nintendo for their limited online interactions. Uh, I, I, how do you mean? Just like shitty online in general? Because that's always been a thing with them. Which, you know, it'd be nice if that was fixed for Smash 5, but I'm not, not expecting much. Nintendo being Nintendo. I heard something about an online service. Does that mean they're doing a paid thing like Microsoft and Sony? Because that would be kind of kind of shitty, honestly. Especially since I heard that uh, Mario Kart 8, the Wii U, the Wii U version was on Nintendo servers, but uh, the Switch version is peer to peer. So they're not even providing servers anymore, at least for that game. I don't know about their other games. So it'd be a really, really money-grubbing thing to do to make everything peer-to-peer -peer and then not... and then also charge a fee. PlayStation Xbox have such intuitive online. It's intuitive, yeah, but... Oh, I just... I hate the idea of ha having to do a monthly fee for those kind of things. You don't... Know, Steam doesn't do that. Like, I already pay... I pay 90 bucks a month for internet. I don't want to also have to pay for everything I use internet for. It's ridiculous. That's, that's just stupid. Or at least, I'd like to have the choice. Like, that was the big thing with the 360 and the PS3. Is that you could get, you know, okay online servers without a monthly fee on the PS3. Or you could pay a monthly fee and get really good online servers on the 360. Like, that was the choice as a consumer. But now with the the Bone, the Xbox One, and the PS4, they're just both the same. They're both a monthly fee. So, like, what's even the choice? It's just purely a matter of flair which console you have. Everything's on both of them. It, br it really brings to attention 
the whole console war nonsense that it's just, it's, it's at a peak, I feel. There's really no difference between PS4 and Xbox One anymore. Nice and slow. No chat rooms. To, people really need chat rooms on online consoles. I mean, yeah, Nintendo had Picto Chat, but that was that was obviously a gimmick. Okay, hard gem maybe is done. Now I can just race. Voice chat parties. Yeah. Yeah, Microsoft and, so and Sony have a uh, voice chat, but depending on the game, I usually turn it off anyway. I usually don't like hearing other people, hearing strangers in voice chat, because it's usually, it's usually not good. It's usually just like 12-year-olds with bad senses of humor and very bad microphones, in my experience. Like, if I'm playing with a friend and I want a voice chat, I just use Skype or something. I, I really don't need... A dedicated voice program. But that's me. That's my opinion. How hard are these guys going to be? Oh, no. That's bad. Oh, that's not fair. You can just float over the cops. Oh, those are those are some really trolly holes. Some troll holes. <laughs> if you don't get the turning perfect with those speed boosts, they're they're put right where you're gonna hit them. Also, what are UFOs doing this close to the ground? What's the point? Oh, you... The turns are very not sharp, though, so you can go really far on the speed boosts if you're good. Which means this is going to be a real, a real tricky relic in that case. Because they're going to expect you to get every speed boost perfect. Sorry, I can't read the chat right this second. I gotta, I gotta focus on beating UFOs. I'm probably not going to do this time. I'm probably going to have to do this again. Yeah, take that. I bet that's damage. That's going to take a while to pay off. Your space bucks. Oh, is this it? This is the end? I got third. That's not great. It's hard to explain, but I really think Nintendo is really bare bones with their online game. I mean, it's been awful for the Wii U, and especially the Wii was bad before that. But I don't know. I, do you have any games on the Switch that are uh, online that you're speaking about, Sandy? Oh, wait. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to. Time trial. I forgot. I'm just racing. I don't need to pick up the clock. I wonder if I can get the gem and the time trial at the same time. For winning the race. Uh oh! Fuck. God, I wish there was a restart level button. Oh, and Splatoon. I've never played a Splatoon game, so uh, getting Splatoon 2 on the Switch would be... That is on the Switch, right? They ported that? There's Splatoon, there's Hyrule Warriors, and Mario Kart 8. I think are the big draws for the Switch. And obviously, obviously the Pokemon game when it comes out. That's a ways off, presumably. I have a, a sinking feeling this level is going to be the entire stream. 
Don't you mean Breath of the Wild? Eh. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something controversial. I've never liked an Elder Scrolls game. I did not like Skyrim. It was incredibly boring to me. So the idea of open world Zelda. Eh. I'll give it a shot. I can almost guarantee you it's not going to be my favorite Zelda game. I think I would like Breath of the Wild a lot more than Skyrim because of the setting. Like, Zelda is more colorful and fun. Just by the nature of it. But still, inventory management and having to, like, weapons that run out and stuff like that, eh, it's not, not my idea of a good time. We'll see. I'll give it a chance. I'm not super hyped for it the way I am for, you know, Pokemon or Smash or anything like that. And I also just don't really like... I don't like the modern definition of open world because games have... There have always been games that were open world. Like, Ocarina of Time was open world. It had an overworld, and you can go anywhere from the start of the game. You just, you know, there are barriers and things, but open world has just come to mean big. It means a really big over, like, overworld map. And, you know, I don't, I don't need that huge a gaming area. I'm, a, I'm okay with that. Especially if there's nothing... That probably just cost me the race. Especially if there's nothing going on with it. Like, that was the problem with Wind Waker for me. It was just big expanse of nothing. And it was so boring getting from place to place on that big empty ocean. But again, I haven't played. We'll see. Unless open world is associated with the term MMO. I've never... I've never heard of an open world. Well, I guess... In a way, pretty much all MMOs are open world as well, but... Again, it's off genre for me. It's something that I don't have any experience with, so I can't say... I can't say I'll hate it. We'll see. I will give it a chance. It's not... It's not going to be the first thing I'm spending my money on, though. Breath of the Wild. Especially since... Me being me. Being anal. I need to work up the series to that point. I never, uh, I never finished Twilight Princess, so that's my, that's my current Zelda game. I recently acquired it for the GameCube. I'd only rented it before that, so we have a copy of Twilight Princess, which we are planning to do the Zelda series. I don't know how soon. We're kind of in the middle of a bunch of series right now. But we're going to do Ocarina and Majora and Wind Waker. We'll do Twilight Princess. And, uh... Gotta, gotta get a hold of Skyward Sword. Which, you know, I've heard not great things about. There's, you know, kind of boring. Very formulaic. Which is why a lot of people were so excited about Breath of the Wild, is that it stirred things up. But, you know, I'll give it a shot. I'll try it. It has Groose in it. People like Groose, right? Ironically. For the record, Majora's Mask is my favorite Zelda game. Tingle for Smash 5. It would make me so happy if Tingle and or Waluigi were in Smash 5. Obviously, K. Rule would be... Okay, now I'm just going to start talking about things I want for Smash 5, but fuck it, right? Obviously. Uh, K. Rule would be great. Ridley. I don't really care that much about, but people want him, so sure, Ridley. Oh, I'm fucked. Uh. Yeah, this, this isn't happening. Big the Cat. Can we get Big the Cat for Smash 5? That just take Sonic out. We don't need him. The only Sonic character in the game should be Big the Cat. Just have a, a three-way with Big the Cat, Waluigi, and uh, Tingle. And Hercule. 
Not Goku, Hercule. Hercule should be the Dragon Ball representative for Smash. You be oh, Sandy doesn't like Big the Cat. What's wrong, Sandy? Do you have a problem with me and Floggy? Duke Nukem for Smash 5? With a skin that is him in a Big the Cat fursuit? I just want Big in the game. Honestly, if there were any second Sonic character in the game, it would probably be Tails, though. Shadow would play too similarly. And Eggman, despite be having Herculean strength and incredible speed, they don't really want to acknowledge that as canon, so he would have to be in a mech suit or something, and that'd be a little weird. It'd have to be like a Bowser Jr. situation. And they could pull it off, but it'd be tricky. That said, it would be cool to have Eggman as a playable character somehow. I mean, I'd be down for mechless Eggman. In Sonic X, he punches out security cameras. Like, with the greatest of ease. And there are other, like, strengths, or feats of strength. Okay, like, Sonic Riders. In Sonic Riders, he can run backwards at 20 miles per hour while punching trucks out of his, like, long-haul trucks out of his way. Because in that game, he's a power class on foot. Like, the as far as I understand, characters just run aways before they get up to speed and hop on their boards or whatever. So yeah, you can just run at, like, 50 miles per hour as fat old Eggman punching shit out of the way. It's great. I want to see that Eggman in Smash. Give Wario a run for his money. Ah, I keep missing that one. That's a tough one to make. I'm gonna get it this time, though. I beat this fucker. You can't say Eggman's superhuman powers isn't canon when it occurs in, like, five Sonic games. Hey, that's what I'm saying! He's literally faster than Sonic, according to, what is it, Sonic 2 or Sonic 3? Sonic can't catch him. Okay, that's taken care of. I should probably save. That'd be a good idea. I'm gonna save. I feel like he also did something superhuman in Sonic Adventure 2, but I don't remember exactly. But yeah, I'm convinced that... I'm convinced that uh, the Mobians... I mean, the Mobians all have superpowers, obviously. It's like a super hedgehog and a super fox and a super echidna. So I'm convinced that Eggman is just a Mobian human. He's just strictly superior to normal humans. Game theory has proven that Eggman can accelerate faster than a Bugatti. Yeah? If you spin dash into him, he goes from zero to sixty just immediately. Okay, what's this? This is a, this is a flight level. How bad's this gonna be? <coughs> like my God, how dumb was it that they thought it would be a good idea for Eggman to outrun Sonic on foot in a Sonic game? I mean, granted, those were early ones where Eggman wasn't that, that fast, but... I mean, compared to... Compared to how much they would hype up his speed later, but still. Are you, are you leaving us, Sandy? Because McDonald's is closing? Wait, McDonald's is closing. It's 3.45. Oh, you're saying that's why Eggman runs so fast. Supposedly, he has a glandular problem, is why he looks like that. You know, because his arms and legs are normal size, but he's got a big belly. And also, he's a self-proclaimed feminist, according to one of the Sonic Genesis 
manuals. I miss when games had manuals. I've said this before. <coughs> I wish physical manuals would make a comeback somehow, but unfortunately, there's just not really any call for them anymore, so... Not happening. Oh, I did get that gem. I think. Did I get... I did get... Okay, I got all the boxes. Finished in second, though. Have you seen Sonic Adventure 2 hack where Meckless Eggman plays in City Escape? No, but that sounds amazing. Not that I really need to. Again, he's on foot doing superhuman stuff in uh, Sonic in Sonic Riders. <coughs> I really also wish that... I hope they get more creative with the skins in uh, Smash 5. Because not only are they all just... Are most of them just recolors? They're not even good recolors for most of the skins in Smash 4. Especially some of the care, Like, a lot of them aren't even... Aren't even recolors. They just have very, very slight... Very unnoticeable changes to their outfits. Ganondorf has some of the worst skins, and Sonic... Sonic doesn't even change colors. He just changes, like, the rings he wears. It's barely noticeable. Yeah, Sonic is probably the worst defender. It's just his bracelets. And there are so many good skin ideas in the N Nintendo library. But they just, you know, they'd have to model new clothing and everything. I would love to see Shadow Queen Peach. Apparently, by the way, there's an arc in one of the Sonic comics. I don't remember. Archie comics, I want to say, but I'm not sure. In which Eggman becomes a pro wrestler? And is just, like, suplexing people in the ring. They didn't incor incorporate a supersonic scheme. No, they didn't. Even, well, but he does have that as his final smash. But even without that, like, how obvious would it be for them to have, a you know, an orange Sonic for Tails, a red one? Or even just, like, even, like, a dark Sonic, just, like, a black one or something. Not for Shadow, but for the various times that, you know, dark, edgy Sonic has appeared in the, uh... In the Sonic series. Shadow arguably being one such time. Okay, that's all the gems. Now we could do the true ending now. And I will, but... Maybe just for the sake of saying I've gotten them all before. I should get the last few relics. Oh, I don't think I did hot cocoa, did I? Did I do the relic? I didn't do the relic for hot cocoa. And it's still at 99%. I don't know if that's for... the true ending, or if it counts relics. I'm gonna find out, though. I gotta go to the alien sign. I gotta go to hot cocoa. There are altogether too many motorcycle levels in this game. <laughs> Given the option, the number one skin that I would like in Smash 5 is still Shadow Queen Peach. Or just any acknowledgement of the first two Paper Mario games, honestly. Instead of, like, the only Paper Mario anything in Smash was in the 3DS version, they had a level. And it was only so that they could sell the newest game. Spyro 1 is a huge collectathon, and that's why I haven't finished it yet. Eh, not really. It's not that bad. It's got eggs and gems. People want Paper Mario and Smash. See, I think that would be cool, but at the same time, they would ruin him. Because I know Nintendo. They would have a minimal no a minimal move pool from the first from the first two games. If 
any acknowledgement at all. Oh, really? God damn it. And they would throw in a bunch of stuff that no one knows or remembers from, like, you know, Sticker Star and Color Splash and Super Paper Mario. Especially Sticker Star, the game that no one liked and no one played. That's that's where I like I can almost guarantee half his move pool would come from. But that's as a big Paper Mario fan, if they did it right, it would be cool. Because he would play pretty seriously. I feel he could play drastically different from Mario because mainly because he wields a weapon. Like that's kind of a big thing for him is the hammer. He would definitely be more a lot more different from regular Mario than Toon Link is from Link. I'm just I'm again, this is me. I haven't played the game, not that big a hype for it. I'm kind of disappointed that so many people have a hard on for Breath of the Wild Link being in Smash. They want like, it's obviously it's been revealed that he's in the game, but people want him to be a separate... Some people want him to be a separate character, like Toon Link. They want either the replacement of Toon Link with Breath of the Wild Link, or else... I guess it would require reworking Link's moveset for Breath of the Wild Link if they wanted to add specific moves from Breath of the Wild, right? Probably should have come this way. It looks like there's more boxes. But yeah, honestly, I'm expecting it just to be... It's just going to be another skin of Link. Maybe they'll tweak his moves slightly. Like they'll add some, some something or other item from Breath of the Wild. Maybe his up B will end with the, like the hang glider thing or something. I don't know. I am... Okay. I got lost pretty badly. I'm almost certainly not getting the relic on this one. I'm gonna guess it needs to be like 45 seconds. What? What? Huh? I'm sorry, that aimless, lost, meandering idiot was platinum? Oh, oh, oh okay, game. I'll take it. So that's the world record, right? I just, I just like, smashed any pre-existing record, right? They really... They really just give away the Platinums on Hot Cocoa and, uh, the Dino, the Aegipus Rex ones. Because of how hard it is to get to the levels. They just give you the Platinum so you don't won't have to come back there again. Like, whatever, I guess. That's more Platinums for me. I was surprised at the number of Platinums I did manage to get during this run-through. I'm not gonna get them all. I don't think I don't think I have the, the time or the wrist strength for that. <coughs> but I am at least gonna get all the relics. That I am planning to do it more skiing, great. And I am at least planning to do that. But yeah, I'm anticipating that Breath of the Wild Link will just replace Normal Link. It'll just be his skin, there'll be some slight reworks to the moves. As they do from game to game. And that'll be it. And I'm cool with that, as a non-Breath of the Wild fan, presently. Plus, I can just imagine the outrage from uh, people who actually play Toon Link if he were just outright replaced. Then again, characters come and go in every Smash game, so who really knows? <laughs> we lost the Ice Climbers between Brawl and Smash 4, along with Wolf, and some others for a little while. They re-added re most of them via DLC. Uh, I went the wrong way. And that was nice. I'm also still disappointed 
about, uh, I'm kind of disappointed in Wario's move pool. I said that since he was ver first introduced in Brawl. About how much of it came from his Wario wear. Just like, oh, he's just a big, fat, gross guy who farts all the time. You know, they drew inspiration from that instead of his platforming games, which were very good and had a, like, full move pool just of Wario being Wario in them. But, what are you gonna do? They did pay some amount of homage to them. He still got his, like, his dash attack as the charge and such. I just wish more of it were from that. Like, at least that were his default outfit and not the WarioWare outfit. And, you know, WarioWare levels and all that. I saw the, uh... There was a Did You Know Gaming on Wario. Or maybe it was specifically on Wario Land games. Not too long ago. And, uh, they mentioned that in the in the making of Wario Land Shake It, the one for the Wii... And I'd, I'd forgotten there was... Whoa! Those are nitros. Oh, I could have tanked that. I have a mask. I'd forgotten there was a Wario Land for the Wii. Actually, I've never played the Wario Land games. I just played Wario World, which was an awesome game, by the way. Eh, Sapphire. I'll take it. But in the creating of Wario Land, the guy who made it consciously decided that, uh, you know what? Let's not focus on Wario being fat and gross and everything in the way he's portrayed in the WarioWare games. He was, you know, he's just kind of a big greedy asshole. Like, he wasn't Wario Land. Like, that guy knew what he was doing. He, he knew what the Wario Land series was and how to stay true to, its, to it. And I'm glad for that. Zelrog Speedrun Barbie Explorer for PS1. It's a Crash Bandicoot clone. Like a clone of any specific Crash Bandicoot or just like the general ba gameplay? Is it just like Barbie Laura Croft like r run around and spinning her arms? Because that sounds kind of amazing. Exactly. Oh, okay. I'm down. I will spend the next two years of my life in intense training so that I can be the world record speedrun holder, the world speedrun world record holder in Barbie Explorer for PS1. See, I don't, I don't mind, I actually don't mind streaming solo as long as I have people to talk to. It just kind of defeats the point when there's no one in chat. Then I'm kind of just, you know, forcing myself to talk to no one. And that's no fun. But I appreciate your being here with me, Sandy. Very much so. And hit... Oh, no! Oh! Oh! That was very bad. We're talking about uh, potential... I don't know if it'll... Well... It'd be nice for this week. Potential movie night soon. If we can get the guys together. It's The problem is we can't really plan around Jack's schedule because he can, you know, get called in at any time. He's... I've heard that he... I, I think he is looking for other, other work coming up soon. So maybe his schedule will be more steady in the not too, too near, but near-ish future. And then maybe streams will be more consistent. Ah, oh, Mr. Crate. But yeah, I hope. Would like to be nice if we could do a movie night this week, and we could do uh, Bacon Bomb wanted us to watch the Super Mario Brothers movie, the live action one. So that's an option. If we wanted something video game related. If we're down to something animated, I thought it'd be cool if we watched, like, uh, Little Nemo. The anime one. Because that's a dumb, trippy movie to watch. 
And, uh, other than that, the usual stuff we watch is, uh, Wuxia. Well, not, not even Wuxia, just, like, bad Hong Kong dubbing kung fu flicks. <coughs> Which, there are probably a couple we could dig up for that if we needed to. I'm only off today and tomorrow. Okay, well, hopefully we can... If you're interested in joining for that, hopefully we can plan it for one of those two days, Sandy. Jack has a... Ow! Jack has a long work week this week. So, uh, he's... I think they have him working like eight days straight. So, we'll see. I'll check with him what his schedule's like. Maybe we can, uh... Maybe I can talk to the guys and work it out tomorrow. We'll see. It's not really something that we, you know, like to do without Jack, though, because that's kind of his thing that he started, was getting the guys together for, for a movie. And we haven't recorded any of them before now. We've done it a couple times off, uh, off the record. Which spawned many references to Swordsman 2 and Ricky O. We watched another one called The Dividing Hour, and, uh... Oh, what was it? The guys watched uh, that uh, bad, like, Google Translate version of Star Wars Episode 3. Like, Backstroke of the West, I think it was called. Can't you get busted for streaming movies on Twitch? Uh, not, we wouldn't stream them, we just record it. Like, I don't know if you've watched our, uh, our recent, you know, Fourth Seed Watch videos. We tried to stream it at first because, you know, people on... Well, we streamed it to YouTube, not to Twitch. Because people are always showing, like, oh, 24 hours of Courage the Cowardly Dog or Ed, Ed, and Eddie just on YouTube, consequence-free. And we figured, you know, we could do that. They don't seem to care. Turns out they did care when we did Digimon, and now we can't, uh, we couldn't stream on YouTube for a little while. I think we got a month left before we can do it again, but, uh, no, we're, so we're only streaming on, on Twitch until that's up. But since then, we've just recorded them, and then we, uh, we put it in a frame and make the video blurry. You can still make out enough of what's going on for, you know, the, the commentary, and if you really want to, you can get your own copy and watch that alongside it, like, you know, like Rift Tracks. And that's what we would do for, uh, for the guys for movie night. We just have a rec we just record it and we'd have it for on YouTube, not on Twitch. It also depends on how much people care about the movie. I mean, we'll be safe. We'll keep it blurred out for any ones that we do. But especially bad Hong Kong movies, no one cares about those. There's not. No one's gonna content claim Swordsman Two. Or the East is Red. Or let or Oh, uh, what's what one of the ones that I'd heard about was like uh Legend of the Seven Lucky Ninjas or something. You mean like where the movie's a tiny window and the rest is like an ocean background? Well, not an ocean. We we cut it down to 50% and blur it is what I do. But we have a video we have a... Uh, two Digimon videos. We watched the first two discs of Digimon Season 1 so far. That's still ongoing. And, uh, Don Bluth's Thumbelina. So we have that, that video up. We have three watches so far. Okay. I think I got... Check the roster. Got 42 gems. And I think I got all the, uh... Oh, 44 gems. There's two more. Oh, right, because of uh, Aegipus and Hot Cocoa. I I'm missing a relic. What relic am I missing? Oh, right, Rings of Power. I forgot that one. <coughs> Last relic of Crash 3. There we go. Isn't this one on a track, though? I guess this just comes down to how many boxes you hit. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'm gonna wait till I go through it.
I guess boxes and kind of cutting corners is how it works. Oh, what? You just hit me? That's never happened before. Are there not time trial boxes? They all seem to be uh, Wumpa boxes. That's interesting. Well, if there aren't any, I guess I don't need to fire, but... We'll see, I guess. Is it really just gonna come down to just like cutting corners on these rings? Cause that'd be a very... Very easy relic challenge. Like, how much can you possibly vary just going from ring to ring? You don't control your speed, you're on a track. Or you're on a set speed, rather. Yeah, there don't... There do not appear to be any... Any time trial crates. You really are just cutting corners. That's all it is. Platinum... What do I get? Nothing, not even Sapphire. Okay. Well, now that I know that there aren't any time trial crates, I guess I just, just go for it as, as beautiful, as beautiful Joe would say. Oh, wait. Do I gain... I gain speed spinning through them. Okay. So there are... There are some mechanics to this that I was not aware of. Well, that makes winning the race real easy. Waluigi's entry in Smash Brothers Infinite. I haven't played Smash Infinite, but I've... S oh, what? That guy just sent me like 90 degrees to the right off track. Maybe... Okay, I guess you're not on a track. Anyway, I loved Waluigi's entry in Smash Brothers Infinite, the fan-made one. I haven't played it, but I've seen people play it. His neutral special is neutral B is just him screaming wah and the text appears and it deals damage and it's amazing. Oh, uh oh. No, no, no. Didn't Project M get nuked by, did it? Was this recent? I mean, not to my knowledge, it didn't. They still have well, I mean, it still has a Reddit, and to my knowledge, it still has tournaments. By nuked, you mean, like, they're not allowed to update it anymore, or...? I mean, I would say, why would Nintendo care? It's Brawl, it's two games outdated. They're not making any money off of it anymore, but... Since when has Nintendo IP control ever been logical, right? Ah, what the f I know you mean shut down, but, like, what does that entail? This is an entity on the internet. 
They can't stop it from existing. It's, like, on too many pieces of hardware. They can, like, I guess stop them from development, send them a cease and desist. Are they still developing Project M? I've seen some... There's been an attempt to do a Project M. This fucker. This guy is just... An attempt to do a Project M style thing with Smash 4, but honestly, I don't think Smash 4 really needed it. Like, it's obvious why Brawl would need a fan rework, but... Smash 4, it feels like you'd just be doing that just for the sake of doing it. God damn it. Okay, I gotta be real picky about which ones I spin through. Damn it. Not the best start. Just veered off course. This guy is so easy to knock his hitbox. And he, he hides behind your plane. It's very hard to see. And behind the balloons, especially. Damn it. I feel like this is going to be one of those cases where I'm going to have to get really anal and end up getting platinum accidentally. Which ha has happened a few times in this playthrough. Those accidental platinums. When Spyro Team Racing? We never got one of those. Oh, how cool would it have been? if Spyro had made a cameo on Crash Team Racing. Would have been pretty cool. There was a, uh, if I remember right, there was a Ratchet skin in Jack X Combat Racing. And similarly, a, a Jack and or Daxter skin in Ratchet Deadlocked. Okay, 50, uh, sub 55, what's that? Gold, that'll do. Good enough for me. <laughs> I've been away from the kids for almost a week and I'm still really congested. Well, not really congested, but still at least congested. Proving that winter is not, in fact, over. No matter what the calendar says. I've shed my winter fur, though. I no longer... I no longer have my mane. I, I, I cut my hair for the winter. Or for the spring. So I'm, 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 I'm normal looking again. I just jumped up to a... Okay. So... You gain 5% from getting all the relics, just all at once. Like, if you have 29 relics, you have 0 relic percent. If you have all 30, it's 5%. That's that's a weird system. Why would it not count each... In that case, it should count, like, each 6 relics as 1%. Whatever. Now, is this the max, or do I, it is, does it go to 105 after getting the, the you know, the true ending? Let's find out. Yes, it is true. The Bandicoot has brought all of the crystals and all of the gems to me. Ultimate power is mine. Okay. The world as we know it is about to end. Old news, but, uh, well, not that old. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy coming to Nintendo Switch. Ow. And also Steam for that matter, which is cool, but the fact that it's on Switch makes Crash a f pretty likely candidate for Smash, which is pretty cool. I would lo I would love to see Crash in Smash. Crash Smash. And Spyro, of course, but yeah, that's happening. 
Oh, he had his he had his shield down. No Spyro on uh, on recent Nintendo, and also there's also the fact that Skylanders is a direct competitor with Nintendo's Amiibos in the Toy Wars. Not that Nintendo's Ami that Amiibos are you know exactly the same kind of game as Skylanders and. Uh, in Disney Infinity. Is that still going on? I mean, obviously, they're still selling toys, but... God damn it. Ever since Brawl, Smash kind of died for me. Oh, that, that that's sad, Sandy. Wii U is a lot better than Brawl, in my opinion. Like, it's moved back to being reasonably competitive again. Unless that's not why it died, and I, I don't know why else. Fuck! I am... I'm getting my ass kicked by Cortex. How many hundreds of lives do I have? 86. Okay, I'm in some real trouble here. Just playing jump rope and dodgeball at the same time. Just recess games. The boss. You care to elaborate, Sandy, on why Smash is dead for you? I'm just curious. Just didn't enjoy Brawl. I mean, yeah, there was a lot to dislike about Brawl. Have you just not, uh... Not played Smash 4 very significantly? The Wii U one? theme and menu and shit. Yeah. I still do I still do like the aesthetic aesthetic of uh, melee the best. But you and I we we're children of the 90s. Oh god, they're hard to avoid. So of course dork is the best. Away from playing console games. I'm kind of in a weird spot right now. And that I haven't really been playing any PC games. Like Maple Story, I kind of did for a little while. God damn it. Just because it's a game that can be played with one hand and you know my wrist and all. But uh, other than that, I stopped Awesome Knots for a while. Again, mostly because my wrist wasn't able to take it so regularly. <laughs> and also because I needed the 10 gigabytes free. Other than that... I don't know, I guess there just haven't been a lot of PC games... ...that have been, uh, just really wowing me. Or really hyping me up of late. I think I would like to have played more Rocket League if... Again, it didn't take up so much hard drive space, and my wrist could handle it. And also, my computer could run it. it my computer has some problems with Rocket League. At least streaming it, for sure. I would I would definitely love to stream Rocket League more, but... We tried it once, and it didn't, uh, didn't work out well. It was at a whopping about, uh, I don't know five to ten frames a second. It was fun, though. Fun to play. And, uh... I don't know. The only... I played a lot of Spelunky. Again, really hyped for Spelunky 2. 
That, I'll probably, when that comes out, unless it's a train wreck, I'll probably be spending a lot of hours on Spelunky 2. Die, Cortex! No! Get in there. Okay. It is done. I am the wiener. That's my wiener crouch. Really, I've been playing mostly just Pokemon lately. Again, one-handed. It, it cannot be impossible. What an ending! All that work to create a black hole that's gonna destroy the, the, the universe. Good job, Crash. Wait, th those are ruins. Was this... Was the time machine in... Th in, like, the ruins that Uka Uka was in? The time I... Not hold itself well, that was kind of, I, I didn't realize that until now. That was vague. Okay, so the machine blew up. Look, babies. Yeah, ultimate evil. Threat to the entire universe. Can't keep himself from being tug of war between two babies. Forgive me if Uka Uka has never been that intimidating, honestly. Ah. Oh, now we get a whole credit sequence of uh, uh, uh. Oh, and whatever that noise is. And then I, I guess Cortex is back to normal for the next game. He's just, he's just fine. It's a very Courage the Cowardly Dog ending. Like, with it, those shows where something... A character dies at the end of every episode, but the next episode it's back to normal again. It's one of those kind of situations. <laughs> I can't skip this. There is no skip credits button. So I guess we just I guess we just keep watching the credits. So yeah, it was uh like every TV show ever. No, not not everyone. A lot serials have continuity. And good TV shows like well, I, I, okay, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Should that which should not be named, My Little Pony has continuity. Like they never do anything in an episode that they just throw away, like it never happened in the next episode. And that was usually the same for. Actually, a lot of the old cartoons, Dexter, Powerpuff, any of the Tartakovsky ones. Courage is the only one I can think of that did that. On a regular basis, as it was a running gag, obviously. Ed, Ed, and Eddie didn't really do that. Like the cul-de-sac never exploded and then came back the next episode. Urusei Yatsura did that. The anime, and probably Ranma. Early Rumiko Takahashi series. Dragon Ball didn't do it on an episodic term. Oh, though, oh, you you get to see the staff times. I'm guessing those must be the re the platinum times. So I'll pull out your notebooks and write them down. That's what you got the last empty page in the manual for for notes, right? That's what that's for. Yeah, Dragon Ball suffered more from Toriyama just forgetting shit about his own series. In the long con. Like forgetting characters ever existed, blowing up the moon with Boss Rabbit still on it, things like that. But not an episode to episode thing. Also, the I didn't lower the volume. The It just like cut in half for this sequence. Like, the music went down to 50% so that you could better hear baby cortex and s rubber stretching noises. 
They must have really not spent any time on Hot Cocoa and Agapis Rex for those Platinums to have been that easy. Maybe they were last-minute additions that the staff didn't have any time. Like, they did the hour before the game shipped. They played it like two or three times and got the best time they could manage, and that was it. That was all the playtesting those two levels got. Maybe. I don't know. 104 or 100, 104? Okay. So that seems to be the max percentage, unless you get 105 for all platinum, but I'm not get, I'm not going to get all platinum. How close did I come? Let's see. I'm not going to, but I'm curious how close I came. I got, again, a lot more platinums than I anticipated getting. Come on. 10 platinum. So, mostly gold. 7 sapphire. 10 platinum. That, that's a good ratio. I'm, I'm happy with that. 10 is the most platinums I've ever gotten in this game before. I'm not going to get 20 more, though. So, uh, that's the end of Crash 3. When I do more solo streams, I will probably return for Crash Team Racing. And still planning Croc at some point, I think. Unless me and Jack do that together. We'll see. I don't know yet. But uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me, Sandy. It was fun to have someone to talk to. And I'll see you guys next time.